Hey what's up it's been mz 4 graphicsgrunts.com and welcome to my very exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you that how you, your particles can move along a motion path that you have designed. Then your particles are able to move in what direction you want as you can see here. Let's check a quick RAM preview. So the particles are looking pretty cool and if you do it by the keyframing the position x y it may take a long time and even it may be not so efficient as it is now so you can do it that way but you should do it my way so the first thing make a new comp I'll name it motion path and hit check the setting 1280 by 720 29.97 frames per second and 10 seconds long I'll hit ok the first thing you need to make is a new null object and then select the new null object and draw a mask now this mask would be the path where uh, through which our particles are going to flow so draw a really cool path uh, I will be showing you a simple non good looking path but just for the demonstration and uh, it goes out the way okay I draw drawn I have drawn two hills like um, it's okay uh, just a demonstration and hit M on your keyboard and select the mask path and hit uh, go to edit and click copy and again select the null object and hit P for the position and select the position of the null object and go to edit paste now shut the mask off now our null object has been following a motion path which is really good now we're using this null object uh, as our emitter now quickly make a new solid and name it particular make sure it's a comp size and if you're not sure hit the make comp size button hit ok and drag and drop the particle effect now let's grab into the time let's see what our particles now are might looking and now hit P here and also go to the effect click the emitter and let's go here effects particles and emitter and now hit the tilde key on the keyboard to zoom in and alt click on position XY and drag this move this uh, spiral what do I say that into onto the position of the no object and now hit the tilde key again and now if you scrub into time now you see that our particles are moving in a smooth path that we have designed so guys it's pretty amazing thing and you can do it uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with that and my next tutorial is going to be how to create light streaks with uh, pretty much the same technique that I have used now so color your particles and it might look pretty good if you change your um, motion path and uh, whatever you want so guys my name is Amuzer and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial stay tuned for more